CCTV. The America's Life Transplant Surgeon really has been involved with innovation from the very beginning in terms of even starting this field. And so we're very pro change and innovations to make things better for patients and make things more efficient. It's been crazy to see how we've continued to innovate for these patients at ATC in, in, in particular, how much we've advanced throughout the years and how much we continue to serve our patients. I came last year, it's so different compared to this year in terms of content and the interest that surrounds these fields. So it's a, it's a very uh, eye-opening experience. I think there's an incredible buzz in the air surrounding transplant right now. I think we had this quantum improvement with cyclosporin in 1983. I think the field has evolved beautifully over that time period, but there's this general feeling that there's gonna be a next quantum leap. I'm a Xeno optimist, so I <laughs> kind of believe in Xeno transplant, but I think events of the last six months have shown us it's not gonna be easy. And I'm very optimistic. I, if I was a young person going into any field now, I, I can't imagine not choosing transplant. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that the organ shortage and the potential of xenotransplantation is a really exciting piece, as well as the piece where we're learning about how to promote tolerance in transplantation. I think those are two major OMAT needs uh, that I think many of the groups here have shown uh, potential areas to advance. In one of the sessions a, a couple days ago, that was a 7 a.m., there was a bit of debate um, in the interactive session, so that was uh, really interesting to hear both sides, the pros and cons of xenotransplant. Thanks again for your time and attention this week, and thank you for all you do to save lives. We hope to be right back with you again next year for the World Transplant Congress in San Francisco. Until then, safe travels, everyone.